In a recent turn of events, the legal saga surrounding former President Donald Trump's New York civil fraud trial has taken a new twist. A gag order initially imposed to restrain Trump from commenting on court personnel after he disparaged a law clerk has been temporarily lifted by appellate judge David Friedman, who cited concerns over free speech. The trial judge, Arthur Ingeron, implemented the gag order on October 3rd, triggered by Trump's false comments about the judge's law clerk on social media. This marked a contentious chapter in an already heated legal battle prompting Ingeron to fine Trump $15,000 for violating the order. Notably, the fine was extended to include Trump's legal team after they questioned the law clerk's prominent role in the ongoing trial. Judge Friedman's decision to suspend the gag order introduces a new layer to the legal proceedings, emphasizing the delicate balance between legal decorum and the principles of free speech. As the appellate judge allows Trump to freely comment on court staff, this development adds an unpredictable element to an already closely watched trial. The concerns over free speech, as articulated by Judge Friedman, open up a broader conversation about the limitations and boundaries of legal orders in high-profile cases. The intricacies of this legal drama raise questions about the intersection of personal expression and the need for maintaining order and respect within the courtroom. Beyond the lifting of the gag order, another intriguing element has emerged in this legal spectacle. A lawyer representing a former elections director charged alongside Trump has released videos of prosecutors' interviews with some co-defendants. This move, occurring on November 15th, adds a layer of transparency to the proceedings, potentially influencing public opinion on the case. The evolving nature of this legal battle suggests that the drama is far from over. As the appeals process plays out, the temporary lifting of the gag order allows Trump to wield his influential voice freely. This could impact not only the courtroom dynamics, but also the broader public discourse surrounding the trial. It is worth noting that these developments come against the backdrop of a charged political climate where legal battles intertwine with broader narratives about the integrity of the electoral process. The clash between legal restrictions and free speech rights in this case underscores the complexities inherent in navigating high-stakes legal proceedings involving prominent political figures. In conclusion, the lifting of the gag order in Trump's civil fraud trial introduces a fresh dimension to an already riveting legal drama. As the legal system grapples with the tension between order and expression, the trial continues to capture the attention of the public, offering a glimpse into the intricate workings of the justice system when faced with challenges posed by high-profile cases.